Do you have that dream of hitting it rich maybe with an invention? Maybe you have an idea and you want to bring it to market. You know, so many people do, and many people do make a lot of money. But, you know, they have to know how to protect themselves. So many people say, you know what, I thought of that. I should have done something with it a few years ago. Mark Trenner is with us. He's a patent attorney, and he is with Trenner Law. You know, Mark, let's talk about what you do because it's exciting. You do patents it and is. trademarks. Right. You do copyrights? I do copyrights, too. Okay. Small business uh, formation, entity formation. We call it intellectual, intellectual property. property. That means something you create. Right. And so many people... They create things, and then they get lured into sending money. Have you seen those infomercials, uh, send us money, and uh, we'll protect you, and we'll market your invention, and they want like three or four grand up front? All, all the time, and unfortunately, I see a lot of the clients on the back end when they come to me and ask how to get out of a mess that they've gotten themselves yeah. into. Yeah. So it's always best to come to a patent attorney and Especially work with local. a patent attorney. Right, and, and uh, I, I have uh, meeting locations I'm able to meet in person with inventors throughout the metro area, up in Boulder, Longmont, and I also have an online law firm option if you don't have the time to come meet with me. And you can get special discounts online. Yes, so he has an can. online option, plus he has offices around the metro area where he can meet you. Let's talk about your typical client. Now, you have some corporate clients that are always coming up with new ideas and inventions, but let's talk about individuals that might be watching and they have an idea. Right. What do they do? You know, I, I always recommend my clients start with prior art search. Let's find out what everyone else has done, what's out there already. Has somebody already come up with your idea? And you'd be surprised how many clients come to me and say, this idea, nobody's ever thought of it before. We do a prior art search and we find something dead on. But it's better to find out up front before you spend a lot of time and money and invest your whole future into this invention. Uh, this way, if, if it has been done already, move on. Pick the next big idea. Right. If, uh, if it hasn't, then let's move forward and protect that. So lock in your rights so nobody else can take it. Let's talk about that. If it has been done before, so many people uh, think because they don't see it on the market, that it's not there, but there are many things you find in a patent search. Right, and we really focus on the U.S. Patent Office site, and there's a lot of patent applications that have been filed that uh, never make it to market. So doing a Google search, you may not find it. But right. We have patent searchers that will go into the patent office, they'll look into the, at the uh, actual issued and published patent applications, send those to me, and I'll review them and let you know whether or not I think that there's something patentable there. Okay, in fact, you have a very uh, low price for that. You have a very good price for people who want to just do a search and get a legal opinion. Right. That alone, see, a lot of attorneys don't do that, so they have to go through the whole process. What is that offer that you have you were telling me right. about? Right, I do a very basic prior art search for $250, but if you can spend just a little bit more, $495, I can get a full professional search where I actually outsource the, the search to a professional search firm. They send me the results, I analyze them, I write up a full legal opinion and send that to you all for $495. So for $495, you can find out if your idea is basically patentable. Right. You, you look, you search, you analyze, and you write an opinion. Right. See, and that's, a, I mean, $495. Now, if someone wants to proceed, how long does it take to get an application ready? Just getting a patent application on file, uh, I can usually do those within a two to four week time frame. I try and schedule my time so that I've, I've, uh, I, I can turn that around to you, have you review it within two to four weeks, and as soon as you review it, approve it, we make any changes that are necessary, and we get it filed with the patent office, and you have patent pending status. Let's look at your website. You do have an online law firm, as you call it, where right. people can do, they can apply right here with you. You sure can. And uh, one of the links on there is actually an application. You can fill out some very basic information. Don't give me all the details of right. your invention, but very high level. I can do a conflict search, clear you. If, if everything's clear, we can sign you up, and, and you can be a client of the law firm. Good. So they can start right online with an application, and we'll give you that website in just a second here, okay? We'll give you the address and a phone number. So do we need an attorney? You should work with a patent attorney. You I can so, file too. your own, just like you can represent yourself in a court of law yeah. if you get a, 
uh, if you end yeah. up with a DUI. But do you really want to do no. that? Probably not. If you work with a patent attorney, we're experienced. We know what issues to look for, and we can keep you from getting yourself into a mess that, if you come to us later, can end up costing you more in time and money to get it cleaned up. And you have a lot of experience in this field. And what I really love is that you're affordable. So many people go online or they go to other places and they spend ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. Can you explain a little bit about expense here? Right. We try and keep our uh, costs low. We keep our overhead low. We keep the meeting location through a virtual office. Uh, I, I have a lot of experience. I know what I'm looking for. I can focus on the issues so I don't spend a lot of time and a lot of your money. I can also do flat fee projects, which I think is really important, especially for the everyday inventor and the small business inventors who are working with a budget. That way you know up front what is this going to cost before you authorize any work on it. And you said you could get patented for as little as $1,100. $1,100 will get you a provisional patent application filed. That would include the filing fee. Uh, well, that's good. And, and a provisional patent application gets you uh, patent pending status. And then you just have to convert that to a regular patent within one year. If you want to know more about this uh, attorney, uh, Trenor Law, and I'll tell you what, Mark does a great job. You can find him here, okay? At his, uh, he talked about his website. Let's do that first. His website is uh, right here, us dash Patent attorney dot com is right, that right? Right. U.S. Then put a dash. U.S. dash patent attorney dot com. You can give them a call too at seven two zero two two one thirty seven zero eight seven two zero two two one. 3708. Remember, he comes and meets with you. He has nine locations around the metro area. You can go online and get the process started as well. And it's seven two zero two two one thirty seven zero eight. And that website again is us dash patent attorney dot com. Paul. Coming up on Martino TV, your property value may have dropped.